What's up guys, this is the Flounder Professor here. I just wanted to show you all how to clean a flounder. I'm gonna do one side, just cause it's the same on both sides. If you can get it done on the first side, you're good on the other. Um, basically, get yourself a good sharp knife. I use Dexter Russell, that's what I use. I always have a sharpener here on me, so I can keep it sharp, and a couple of other knives, just in case I need one for a little more solid to cut through. On this one, we're gonna go ahead and just find the little peck fin right here on the side. That gives you your base of the way you want to angle your knife. So you put your knife right behind it. You kind of pick it up with it. And if they're a little cold, uh, I like to refrigerate and or put them on ice before you clean them because it makes the meat a little more firm and easier to clean. But you're going to make a diagonal line from here down to here. The stomach is around in this area. Try to miss it. If you don't, that's okay. But just do your best. Watch your fingers, but push firmly and just cut straight back and just push down until you feel it stop. That's exactly where it needs to be right there. Okay, so now, flounder also have, they have a lateral line that runs like this on both sides. It's basically where your basis is to go ahead and want to cut it straight down so you can, there's a big fat, uh, backbone down the middle and then fillet here and fillet here on both sides. So you run to the middle here where that line is. And again, if you haven't used the scaler on it, it might be a little harder if you got a good sharp knife, it's okay. I'm just coming straight down the center to the back of bone. Down the backbone, straight till you hit the tail. And then you just want to double check that you've gotten it solid enough. Watch your fingers, of course. So now it's good and solid down the middle. You've got a little pocket here. So you try to start wherever you think you'll be able to get the easiest way in without losing meat. I like to start up here a little bit, just because it gives you a little opening. And you kind of let your knife flex as you come down the edge, just so you can kind of lift it up just a hair. Once you get it up enough, you can stick your finger in there and then start working down the backbone. It just kind of opens up this pocket. You're working your way towards the fins on the outside. Once you get to the edge, you can kind of see it poke at the skin. But basically we're just working up underneath here along this backbone. That's the sound the backbone makes when you hear it. Once you get enough over to the sides, you can either pop through or leave it like this if you want to stuff it. But I like to fillet it off so I don't have to worry about any of the bones being in the way. Go ahead and get, when you're on this edge, you can kind of see it protruding, moving a little bit. That's the pocket we're working right there on that edge. Then you'll just pop through, boom and just follow and it comes right through. Boom, fillet up and off. And same thing right here. If you have to pull too hard, there's probably something in the way. Okay, on this other side now, you can see what you're doing kind of and get in here and just go straight down this backbone and follow it just like on the other side. Kind of open it up. Let me get this a little bit. So you can see how it's kind of going down this backbone. You just keep following it like this, all the way to the edge. And then you can just, boom, slides right with it perfectly. You don't want to force it too hard. Now you can just take this off. Now, basically you flip it over and you do the same thing. This time you're gonna cut the opposite way on the head because the angle of where the belly is. So now you're gonna to wanna to cut down like this to miss the belly again. And on here, there's a line again. This one is very blatantly seen and it runs straight down the middle. So you'd run from up top right here, straight down the middle. Get it started, just show y'all. Do the same thing you just did on the back, right down the middle right there. And then you do the same thing and just slowly work your way through. I'm gonna, and then do the exact same way, work it to the edges, pop it off just like this. Now what we're gonna do is take these fillets, take them off the skin real quick. You can leave the skin on if you want. Feel for bones or little fin bones. I see some right here that got left. You just get your knife and it'll go right underneath them. And they come right off. Just watch your hands. And then you can just cut it off right there. Then you don't have to worry about it. But I like to make myself a little bitty slice so I can stick my finger in there and hold it. You can do that or you can use a fork. That's up to you. 
then you spin your knife and on both sides of it you want to try to keep it on the table whatever you're cutting on but flex the middle so you try to get all the meat you're gonna saw your way up you're not forcing it real hard if you got a sharp knife it's gonna go with it and just kind of pull it off and that's what's happening here it's just gonna come right off there boom so there's a fillet there's the skin we'll do that one more time this is the thin meat very good meat too real nice and soft do that one more time one more time we do this cut right here when your hands are gonna be slippery from cleaning fish gives you a spot to put your finger that way you can start your cut turn your life completely sideways start sawing and you saw back and forth and if it starts getting a little slippery you can grab the skin like this and just hold it just saw nice and slow take your time no rush get all the meat off so guys i just want to give you all a little quick tip on how to clean a flounder i have two other ways and i'll come back with other videos later one will be how to stuff it and so that there's no bones and then on another way will be that uh so you guys can do it to where you can stuff it while there's still bones or you can clean it where there's one fillet also one more thing real quick feel right here for bones if you don't feel bones you're good if you do get up underneath them or behind them and just kind of pull through and they come right off all right guys that's it i just wanted to give you all a little heads up on how to do it if you have any questions y'all can always message me have an awesome night and hit me up if you need anything blonder professor out